Hi, it's Dr. Heather Kovac from the Drake Center and today we're going to talk about cat boarding. Dr. Kovac, can you talk a bit about the cat boarding facilities at the Drake Center? Yeah, sure. So here at the Drake Center we have a feline only boarding area. We are cat friendly certified so that's kind of part of the um, stipulations to become certified is to have a feline only boarding area. Uh, so we have multiple cages, different sizes of cages. Some have little passageways into another cage and it kind of just depends on how many patients we have here boarding at one time, but there are only cats in there. Um, and they have a litter box, water, food bowl, little hideout, little hideout area, separate bedding, and they're cleaned as often as necessary, at least once a day, and of course given fresh food and water. If a cat owner is looking for a boarding service, what types of things should they take into consideration? Um, I mean, just making sure that the, the facility is clean and that they're prepared to care for cats. Um, if your cat has some sort of special medical need, it's important to know if they'll be able to take care of that, like um, medication or an insulin injection. Um, you know, if there's anything additional that they would need while they're there, you would want to ask about that. Uh, what will a good cat boarding facility do when a cat gets sick or injured during their stay? Well, they would be able to notice right away if there was a problem. So if the cat wasn't eating or um, had some type of injury, the kennel attendant should be able to notice that right away. And here at the Drake Center, obviously the vets are here seven days a week. So we would be alerted right away. We would call the owner and talk to you about it. Um, so I guess asking what would happen if my pet was boarded and there was a problem, who would they reach out to? Some animal um, kennels don't have a veterinarian on staff, but they have a relationship with a veterinary office and you know would reach out to them if there was a concern. Will my cat get exercise or social socialization while boarding? It depends on you know the boarding facility. So um, some boarding facilities have playtime that you can sign up for and maybe pay an extra fee for, where they might come into a bigger room and have interaction with um, an employee. Uh, they probably wouldn't have time as a group with other cats because most cats don't love that. Um, but you would have to ask about that. I would say for the majority of boarding facilities, they are not taken out of the cage except just to maybe give some affection. But they're they're not taken to a separate area like a dog would be. What type of diet would my cat receive while boarding? Well you can either bring your own food and that's what we do recommend especially if your cat has a sensitive stomach or is on a special diet to make sure there was no disruption with that or um, you know that they might get an upset tummy if they change the diet too frequently but we also have you know a, a diet here that we can feed if you don't bring your own or you run we run out or you forget to bring it that's fine too and that's included in the boarding. Should I bring anything special or bring anything specific from when dropping off my cat for boarding? Well, I would recommend bringing their food uh, so there's no diet change. You're definitely welcome to bring a bed or a comfort item, a blanket. Um, you don't need to bring food in water bowls um, or litter boxes or anything like that. Um, but just something small would be fine. It's up to you. All right, last question. How far in advance should I schedule a reservation if I'm planning to board my cat at the Drake Center? Oh, just a couple weeks, but if it's a holiday, say Thanksgiving or Christmas, I would recommend at least a month out just to make sure there's a spot for you. Um, we do fill up just because we do have a limited space here um, for those holidays, so definitely booking at least a month ahead would be advised. Okay, that's all the time we have today. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.